Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. We are back for another spring look. I'm having a lot of fun with these spring looks. I think because it's just different. Because we, I've been so into the cool tones and the dark looks that this is airy and light and bright and colorful and whimsical almost. That it sort of has like lifted my spirits in a way. But at the same time, how odd is it to miss the cool tone looks, you know? It's so weird. But anyway, today we are going to go over what's on the face. So what's on the face? We have my Estee Lauder. And I have thoughts. It's the double wear. First off, I think it's too light. But is it? I don't know. Then I use the Dior concealer right yeah the forever correcting that one for concealer i set the under eyes and t-zone with my number seven lift and illuminate i then set the rest of the face with the bare man Orals pro which is darker than the foundation that i laid on which then kind of like evened everything out in a way my lip liner is natasha denona's lip liner in Renee but the lipstick y'all I pulled this out well first off it's probably time to get rid of these because these are starting to smell and to be fair I never used it this is the first time I actually used this one so they were never opened but I mean Bite Beauty's been out of business for quite a while now so we definitely know we're past the expiration date here but this particular color is so pretty it is called Ruby Bon Bon very very pretty color and I love the fact that it matches like the container like that is so cute I have a bunch of these little ones um and then I put a little bit with a lip liner of the lawless milkshake like in the middle and that's where the like the moisture is coming from for the most part but yeah I think it's time that I get rid of all my bite beauty lipsticks so sad um for a blush bronzer highlighter we are using the Jacqueline, Jacqueline cosmetics I thought I might as well get the use out of them now because soon like it's going to be an afterthought because I mean the brand's gone now but I still like the products a lot so today we used the warm flush and golden goddess these two like this just reminds me of the Becca and hourglass almost products they are so easy to use effortless I mean I'm a beginner and I can use them and they're gorgeous and the two shades go so well together I have three of these but I love it and then probably my favorite highlighter and I am sad that I don't have more of these because this is probably one of my favorite highlighters and it's called iced and it just looks so pretty so like it's coming from within type of thing you know but yet you can build that to be seen from the heavens okay now the palette we're going to play with is not a brand that is liked well maybe the brands liked but not the person behind the brand but it is nonetheless definitely a spring palette to me like first thing that comes to my mind almost but I left it for one of the later palettes because it isn't you know but this is still available so if you are interested in these pastel shades this could be a route to go but it's the cotton candy queen by <clears throat> Jeffree Star Cosmetics and first off the packaging I mean it is pretty packaging it's, it's very pretty and whimsical and colorful in spring and then you open it up and you have this I mean it's just beautiful it really is you can go for a more blue look you can go for a more pink look a more purple look you've got the yellow the yellows with the purples like it can go so many different ways and I did kind of jump around today for today's look so you could get an idea of the colors but generally if I do use the palette I tend to stick with what I first said the pinks the purples that sort of stuff why does it look like this lip is doing something weird okay 
I don't know what it's doing, but we're not even going to mess with it because I'll have myself a mess. So the first shade we're going to go into is Cupcake Royalty, which is this pink right here. And we're going to start with it. And today I actually used my ABH prime, uh, eye primer because it is a lighter primer to sort of help these colors pop a little more. Although I do love my Visi Art primer now, I'm going to be honest with you. And I was wanting to find, I don't know where my Hourglass primer went. Because I kind of, like it's not exact, it's not a dupe or anything, the Hourglass to the Visi Art. But there is a similarity there. And I was wanting to see like the difference between them, but I couldn't find my Hourglass primer. So I'm going to spend the day, oops. I am going to spend the day after I do my makeup trying to find that because I do want to find that. And I'm using my BK brushes for the most part for this look as I've been using them since the day I got them because I just adore them. Hold on just a second, y'all. I okay. forgot something. All right. So I have to keep that phone there in case my fiance should call. And I would have to take it. Alright. So now back to this. I don't know y'all. And I will say that this palette kind of did I was kind of in a eh, mood and it did like because it is so colorful it really did put me in a better mood we're going to go into ice cream drop now which is this light purple shade I'm still looking for a job and I haven't found one yet but I am still looking for something to do <clears throat> even though I have this to do and it is fun to do but I kind of want to, you know, also get out into the world again. Part of me does. Part of me don't. Like, I don't know about you all, but like, I seriously, I've not been isolated. Like, I don't want to use that term, but like, I've not really been out in the world working in a long time. And things have definitely changed since I've been out in the world. Obviously, I know of the change through news or social media and stuff, but I haven't, like, necessarily experienced any of the so-called change, and I don't know how I, well, I don't know how I'd handle it, and these times are so hard that, like, I don't know. And I'm the type of person who justifies everything, or I try to, like I always try to, which is a downfall, but not, but I feel like it makes me human. <clears throat> We're going to go into taste, text me, taste, oh, taste test me, not text. It's this dark <laughs> purple color here. My bad. I can't read today and we're gonna lightly build that up over here I will say there's no fallout with this palette and I do love that about it. but I do slowly build up these darker shades for sure cuz darker shades scare me but yeah like I am the type of person who tries to see things from other points of view and tries to justify them for that person you know what I mean? Like, not necessarily make excuses, but like, I don't know. 
I guess in a way it is make excuses, but I, I, I want to see the best in somebody, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, it must be pretty bad if, you know, they're doing this type of thing is my, my is what I do. But then on the flip side of that, when it comes to like decision making or, um, I don't know, like. I mean, I want to say decision making is the way, but anything that has to do with like, <clears throat> well, it is a decision. You have to make a decision. I always look at the negative side of things. I don't know why that is, but I'm like, but if we do this and this, this and this could happen, you know, yet for other things, it's like always positive or I try to always see something positive. You know what I mean? It's so weird. And, like, I don't know why I do that, but I do. I guess to prepare myself for when, like, the shoe drops. You know what I mean? Like, that sort of saying. We're going to go into Cotton Candy Party, which is this blue right here. And we're going to run it under the lower lash line. Because then I'm not, like, disappointed in a way when things don't work out or when something bad does happen. Because, like, I've already prepared for it. You know what I mean? It's kind of where... And how I look at things in a way. I don't know. It is weird. I'll give you that. So how are you all doing? Are you all ready for spring? Because I am. It is warmer today, and the sun is out today, so that's something. I'm using, I got the white ColourPop Gel Liner and Exit on my waterline. I don't know, I tried to go every different route today with this look, trying to show you the pink and the purple and the blue, and in a minute you'll see my favorite shade. Look, it's got that yellow, just like Lemoncello, and just like that other shade. I think it was in, yeah, Daffodil, that was in the Juvia's Place. I love that yellow. There's just something about a yellow like that, that just, and I don't even like yellow, but that yellow, mmm, I love it. All right, we're going to go into Brain Candy, which is this metallic blue right here, and we're going to pick it up, and we're going to start to dab it on the eye. Ooh, okay, picked up a little bit too much. Let's try to spread it out a little bit. I didn't mean to do that. I definitely got that brighter than the other side. I barely picked any up on the other with the brush when I first applied this eye, as you can see. Clearly, it looks like two different shadows. Wow, look at the difference. Huh. So you definitely can build these metallic shades up. Um, I kind of like them both, both ways, like, I kind of like it built up like this, but then I kind of like it sheared out on the other eye, too. So I guess it really depends on what you like. Like, that is really popping compared to this one, but this one looks really subtle, and I don't know. I like them both, though. That's good. Good to know. So either go in with a light hand if you want it more subtle or just, you know, really take your brush in and pick it up. But I'm going to have to make these sides even. So. Let's try and do that the best we can. And I'm wearing blue mascara, you all. I know I pulled out my Pat McGrath. It's been a while. Mm, okay, that looks pretty good. Alrighty, moving right along we are. We're moving right along. Alright, I think I may have gotten pulled out too. So, we're going to go into Sugar Climax, which is this yellow right here. This metallic yellow. I will knock that off. 
we're just gonna pop it right in the inner corner here see what I mean it looks like a sunshine a bright ray of Sun in my opinion that's why I love this yellow whenever I see it in a palette I'm like we can make a look work we got this just because of that shade right there alone it's crazy but that's what this shade does and like I said I'm not even a big yellow fan like I use that Winnie the Pooh palette, which it's a different kind of yellow, but still, it's like, yellow is just not my favorite color at all, you know? I don't know. But by goodness, you give me a metallic yellow like this, and I'm like all over it. Give me more type of thing. Okay. Now we're going to take that Taste Test Me shade, that dark purple, and we are going to line the upper lash line and lower lash line. Oh yeah, we definitely got fallout with that blue that time. That metallic blue, because I put too much on that brush, it definitely got fallout. So be aware of that. Again, you could spray it, you could use your finger, or you can go in with the light hand, because I didn't get fallout when I used it on this side, very lightly. But anyway, going in with that purple in my magnification mirror that I adore, and we are gonna line the top lash line and bottom lash line with this deep dark purple that is just beautiful I do like this purple and it's a good purple like you can blend it you can build it like it's it's a really good purple it's on the more bright side than like goth side vampy side type of thing purple but like it just blends so so pretty and of course you know I'm using my refer brush that I just adore for lining I have my window open so if you hear trucks or my dog barking I needed to let fresh air in like I feel like a little bit of spring has opened up Okay, now we're going to go back into that cotton candy party, that blue, and just make sure we don't lose that color underneath here, because I feel like having it underneath there really brings the blue on the lid, like, a part of the little look, in a way. I didn't necessarily need to do that, but I felt like I needed to do that. Because, like, I got purple and blue and peach, but there was not a peach in the palette. But there was a pink. And I ain't going to complain about having a pink. You know what I mean? Like, that's just not me. All right. Now, for mascara, Pat McGrath in, well, I ain't reading that. I can't even see it. But it's in the dark blue shade. In her Dark Star. Is that right? Yes. Dark Star Mascara Formula. And we are going to put that on the lashes as something different. And I was going to do the pink, but I wasn't for sure how that would pan out. So, and I always know if I use this blue in a look, for whatever the reason, it, it always works for me. I don't know why. But without fail, this blue always, like, makes the look cooler. Now, do I walk around with colored mascara often? No. I don't. Should I? Maybe. If I'm feeling it. But sometimes I'm unfortunately scared people will look at me weird and judge me for wearing, you know, blue mascara. 
and it's sort of like Actraid. Even though I don't know what that saying means. Because I'm just like, how, how am I supposed to act? I'm acting as myself. No matter what age I am. I'm only me, you know? barely touching those lower lash line lashes because I wanted most of the you know look to be at the top of the eye I'm trying to be so very careful because we all know that me and mascara we don't get along at all Like you can see the color on the top lashes even. Like it's looking blue, you know? It ain't one of them that's like, well, I can't really tell what color it is. You can tell when you're face up to somebody or whatever, you can see that it's blue. But I really like the way this look turned out. This particular look is not one of my favorite looks that I've done. Like I said, I much prefer to stick with pink and purple as far as like lid shades and stuff like that out of this palette because but the formula is really good in the palette i get the controversy so that's whatever you guys decide is up to you i what i you know that's all cool i have the palette i'm going to use the palette you know i'm going to get my money's worth out of the palette and do i think it's nice yes i do so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe ring the bell hit all that where you're notified when i upload i upload every day but sunday and I will see you in my next video. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.